Where did she then go? There he is. There he is with your donut. Where's he going? You can't do your lap, can you, at the moment? The doors are shut, you can't do a lap. That's a bit sad. You gonna come and have your bricky? Good boy. No? You don't want it? Oh, maybe it's too hard for you still. Not sure this is a great idea, but we're currently getting ready to set the dogs down to Shell Cove. Where is it? I don't know. Because it's not in the box where it should be. Hmm. Yeah, it's <laughs> such a room we're all just trying to get the dogs organised to go. Well, I don't know. Where is that car thing is? Don't see it around. It's in the pram, because where's it in the pram? It's in the pram, Kev. Chewie's on the wrong side. It's a big hole when you see it close up. You can't quite see it on the time lapse camera.
know it's chewy at that point. First, first meal out. Right under him. Yeah, that's Beautiful day down here. from the source to get online. <laughs> They're happy if they can sit. Come on, sit down, Coda. Sit down. Oh, They're not going, their only is going up there. Panic, panic. Daddy's gone away. Be this is going to be your best, Coda. That's going to be your best one day. This is Coda's behaviour because Lib's gone into the supermarket. Constantly has to be staring around looking for which way she might be. Where is she? Yeah, you're crazy. And Kano is just looking at the bird. He doesn't care where anyone's gone. But Coda Bear is a bit of a freak guy. Are you worried, Coda Bear? You shouldn't be.
um, running sideways. Fuzzy. You better not drop it, you better not. So our plan is to Did eat. you look for fuzzy? Because I said fuzzy. Did you come on every lunchtime? It's half hour second there. Um, whatever you are. Yeah, we're happy to be here. We are exhausted, so we may not. another Monday the start of what I assume is going to be another weekly vlog it seems to be working for me but at the minute while I finish off those Hawaii vlogs I've still got probably another six seven days to do <laughs> so we're getting there it's just taking time and I'm kind of struggling a bit at the moment my fibro has been worse than it has been for a while because my ketamine's well and truly run out or well, not run out of my system because it's got to reset your system but maybe that's worn off by now this is probably the longest period of time or at least equivalent to the last previous time which is about nine months since i've had an infusion of ketamine so it could be that because usually winter's a better time for me but it could just be a little flare it's not been like an all day thing but it's certainly i'm very very slow to get going in the morning and often it's like it's 11 o'clock by the time I'm functional. So, a bit of a struggle. It's also probably a bit of post-holiday blues, winter blues. Not really, not, not depressed or down or anything even, but I'm just struggling a bit <laughs> to get my act together. <laughs> so, I feel like I'm kind of getting there, but the house has not been cleaned properly still since we've been back. Been back for two weeks. Away for three weeks before that. Three weeks? Yeah. So some places haven't been cleaned in five weeks. So <laughs> I did get the lounge room done last week. The kitchen's had a bit of attention, but I haven't done the floors. Not mopped the floors, I have vacuumed. Bedroom's not been touched. So yeah, <laughs> so much to do. And um, that's the problem with this size of the house. I'm just very overwhelmed, but we've got another year here at least, probably a little bit longer. So I need to, you know, just suck it up and get on with it and deal with things the best I can. But yeah, <laughs> I have been struggling this week, the last two weeks, but hopefully it's a new week. Hopefully this will be the week that I get my act together. We'll see. It is a public holiday today, so Kevin's home. It's not going to be a normal Monday. I probably will still, I will still be doing the reset with Christy at some stage, but yeah, as it's not a normal day. I don't really know how I'm feeling yet. <laughs> still a bit achy. So like I really would like maybe Kevin's help to tackle the bedroom and get that sorted, but I don't know if it's going to happen or not. I'm also at the stage, in addition to cleaning, I really want to get stuck in and do some more decluttering. So I kind of think, do I just, I really want a, a deep clean, like the kitchen cabinets need cleaned. Everything needs a really good clean. The pantry needs going through. Like it's just, 
everything pretty much needs a good sort through and a good clean and it's just it's a bit overwhelming <laughs> for a house this big <laughs> even though it's a lot better and it should be a lot more doable than it was you know four or five years ago or perhaps seven years ago when I kind of started on this minimalism journey there's a lot less stuff out <laughs> I own a lot less stuff but still too much and every time I go on holiday I come back and I think yeah I managed for three weeks with what I had Obviously, I need more than what I had for normal everyday life, but there's a lot of stuff can go. So it's a good time to do decluttering after a, a big break, I reckon, a big time away from home, because you re do realize how little you really do need in your life. <laughs> so, <sighs> but it's hard. <laughs> it's hard. It gets, it's sort of harder and easier to get rid of stuff as you go. So it's a bit, you know, you kind of get down to like your favorite thing. You go, oh, I don't, don't need this much. Biggest secret is just not buying so much stuff and then gradually using up or getting rid of what you have, which we've been doing. Uh, and Kevin's been good like that. He still doesn't want to let go of stuff. That's um, obviously, a, um, I guess, a mental issue, perhaps from his childhood. He just, that's his thing is he has, he provides. If you have a problem, he'll provide a solution. He'll have the equipment to deal with it. That's Kevin's thing. That's his kind of identity, I guess. <laughs> Even he realizes that. But he doesn't, he still doesn't want to get rid of stuff. He decided for the stuff that's not going to the new house, he's just going to take it to his office <laughs> and store it in there. But he's not been bringing stuff in, so that's, and he's been, it's getting better. It's not perfect. Neither of us are perfect, obviously. But he has improved an awful lot. So give him some time, hopefully, in time he will release that stuff. Because I tried to explain to him that so many people just feel when they haven't got all the stuff, they feel lighter. But I guess his brain does work differently and he needs to know he's got the stuff to feel good. Anyway, <laughs> that's enough of a start to the day. Let's see how we can get on this week and hopefully get some things done. I can't just see all my boys. <laughs> oh, the snuggles in bed. Yeah, you're hitting the face with a tail. <laughs> hey, Jimmy. They come up and coated up all the licks for like ever. <laughs> On you or him? On me. On you, that's okay. You don't have to... Where's he going now? Down here. You don't have to lick your leg, are you? Yeah, I wouldn't lick him. <laughs> you right there, Mr. King, are you? He's a nice, soft, warm <laughs> Getting all the loves, all the pats. That's, a cool that's his favourite pat inside his leg, isn't it, Chewy? You're a funny boy. But Fuzzy always liked that one. So they got too old to lift his leg up for a pat, for a scratch. Always a nice <laughs> So I just made some pancakes. These were a packet mix we picked up in Hawaii, the banana pancakes. And just got some blueberries and maple syrup. And I think Kevin's having the Nutella is his. Hello. Did you see the time? Oh no, 20 past two or something. And we're out for our walk. <laughs> Mainly because I promised the dogs would have a walk today. Kevin had a big sleep. He went to sleep about 11. So I think he's not well. Not well at all today. He's been feeling really yucky after his breakfast. So just a lot of pain and whatnot. So I had to wait for him to wake up before I could head out. I didn't want to disturb him. So we're out now. And then when I head back, I will have lunch. So the dogs are pretty surprised to be going out for a walk this time. Not sure I've ever done this. <laughs> I mean, look at my shadow. It's in front of me rather than beside me like it normally is. <laughs> <laughs> 